Welcome to this video on solar thermoelectric generators. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world so please do subscribe to our channel. A promising new technology is emerging in the renewable energy portfolio that uses sun's heat to produce electricity. The product is called a solar thermoelectric generator or STEG in short and uses the Seebeck effect for heat to electricity conversion. Just like PV, this technology is also completely solid state which makes the resulting products both durable and reliable. At present, the lab efficiency for STEC products is around 5% but it has the potential to be tripled. That is, it can reach efficiencies of 15%. When compared to high performance PV modules with efficiencies of over 20%, the current efficiency of STEG is almost four times lower. This brings us to the question why is this technology being pursued when even at its full potential it will not be as efficient as the current PV systems. The answer to this is provided by Professor Gang Chen, the head of mechanical engineering department at the MIT. He explains that STEC technology mostly uses metals. The absorbing surface is made up of aluminium and copper and is coated by light absorbing materials. STEC uses very small amount of semiconductor material which is more expensive than metals. He further adds that in a PV system semiconductor materials make up most of the panels and metal is used sparsely as charge collector. This means that there is a huge potential of reducing the cost of electricity generation. This idea is echoed by ENRIL or the National Renewable Energy Laboratory which suggests that the cost of electricity generation with STEC can be as low as half a dollar per watt. For a domestic user this means that a 1 kilowatt system would cost only 500 US dollars Furthermore, the new generation of STEG materials have demonstrated efficiencies of nearly 15% and these include the scatterite compounds such as polycrystalline cobalt and termini or COSV3. There are two additional advantages of STEG technology. Firstly, it can work in conjunction with solar water heating systems. In China alone, there are 100 million square meter of solar hot water panels. Research is currently underway on developing hybrid systems that produce both hot water and electricity using STEC technology. The economics of such systems look extremely favorable on paper. The second advantage of STEG is its ability to utilize stored energy. Solar PV systems work only in daylight hours, whereas if energy is stored as heat during the day, STEG technology can convert that stored thermal energy into heat during the night and thus STEG technology provides flexibility of energy usage. So let's have a look at how STEG works. The solar thermoelectric generators are made up of two metal absorber plates that sandwich semiconductor material between them. Ceramic plates can also be used instead of metal. The hot side metal plate at the top is additionally coated with selective material that enhances absorptivity. Nickel plated copper can be used as an absorbing surface. The cooler side is exposed to ambient air. The semiconductor materials that have been used for TEG are bismuth telluride, lead telluride or silicon germanium. Each of these materials have low thermal conductivity and a high power factor. The greater the temperature gradient across the plates, the more electric current is produced. Solar energy can be concentrated to increase the temperature difference. Similarly, heat sink is also employed on the cold side to increase the temperature gradient. Note that normal thermoelectric generators available in the market can withstand temperatures of up to 570 degrees centigrade. At the MIT, the hot absorbing surface of STEG has been kept in a glass vacuum chamber to make use of the greenhouse effect to increase the temperature difference. STEC technology is often confused with hybrid PV tech technology. The latter is fairly useful particularly for PV modules installed in hot climates but is expensive. And this concludes the video on STEC. You know the drill. If you learned from the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for your attention.